So I was out last night with my camera and binoculars and looking at the sky. <laughs> Took some pictures of the moon. That was fun. I always like taking pictures of the moon. It's always there, almost always there, ready for a photograph, right? <clears throat> but I also knew that there was a comet flying through uh, our area and um, we'd have a, we have a window of being able to see it. And this is what I was able to capture. I also started to peruse the, uh, the interwebs and uh, I, there's a, a website that has uh, a live stream from an observatory in Hawaii and uh, it was capturing this. And then as I'm watching, uh, a meteor flies right through the tail. That was pretty cool. A lot of other folks saw that as well. Um, so I thought I'd share that with you. I'll leave a link below where you could uh, look online at the sky and kind of see where things are and then go outside and explore that for yourself. But uh, let's take a look at this photograph for just a moment. Okay, first off, I think I'm gonna butcher the name, but it's Chu Chin Chan is uh, the name of the comet. And uh, I'll leave a link to where you can go see why it's called that and all of that. There's a group uh, called Atlas. They, uh, they're instrumental in finding these kinds of things that come kind of close to the earth and let people know about them. Why is it named Tzu Chin Chan? Well, this is what I found. The name Tzu Chin Chan or Tzu Chin Chan comes from the Chinese name Sikin Shan, Jin Shan, meaning purple mountain. It refers to a mountain located near Nanjing, China, which has been historically significant. The mountain is known for its beautiful scenery, cultural heritage, and various astronomical observatories, such as the Purple Mountain Observatory, Zijinshan Observatory. This observatory, founded in 1934, is where many important astronomical discoveries were made, particularly in asteroid observation. So Tsuchinshan, or Zajinshan, is associated with the observatory and astronomical research rather than being the name of a specific asteroid or celestial body, though some celestial objects discovered at the observatory have been named in connection to it. So that's the comet. It's where am I looking in case you want to go take a look for yourself. It's due west and it's um, the time was about eight o'clock in the evening here, central time and it's about 10 to 15 degrees above the horizon. So the sun has just gone down. It's getting kind of dark. You don't see much glow in the sky. And then you'll see a, kind of a fuzzy stream. Now what I've done here is, this is a two second exposure with my camera. And uh, you, that's why you see those dots at the bottom. That's actually an airplane or there's a couple of airplanes flying by flashing their light so it looks like dots across the bottom of the sky but that's because it was the the shutter was open for about two seconds i took a few photos and um, what i would suggest is get out there around seven o'clock in the evening and just start looking west and don't look into the sun because the sun will probably still be kind of high in the sky but right after sunset right after the sun goes behind the horizon just be looking right behind it and you will see it. It's to the right of Venus, which is going to look like a very bright star. And it's to the left of another pretty bright star that's there. Um, but again, it's going to, by the time you see it, it's about 15 degrees above horizon. Be sure you're out in an area where there is not a whole lot of light pollution. That'll help. Um, one of the challenges is the moon is becoming full. It's, it's waxing in and uh, it's going to be kind of like right mm, 45 degrees above this thing. So as time goes on, it's going to be tougher and tougher to see because the moon is going to um, block its view and provide too much light. So get out there quickly, maybe tonight. Find a nice dark spot, clear horizon about 8 p.m., maybe 7.30, start looking in the western sky, just where the sun went down. There you go. I'll leave some links below. If you're interested in space and sky and astronomy and taking photos and all that kind of stuff, 
I'll leave links. You can go look for yourself. All right, we'll see you on the next one. See you.